In the world of travel experiences, there are a few moments that you know will stay with you forever, and this is one of them. Sunrise Angkor Wat, the largest religious monument in the world. A temple and a league of its own when it comes to size, beauty, and meaning. And this is just the beginning. The world famous temples of Angkor are in Siem Reap in the northwest of Cambodia. After exploring this fascinating city, we'll be boarding Scenic Spirit to cruise the mighty Mekong with stops at enchanting villages and bustling cities, all the way to our final destination of Ho Chi Minh. Centuries ago, this was the capital of the Khmer Empire, with Angkor Wat standing as a testament to Siem Reap's glorious history. Angkor meaning capital city and Wat meaning temple. Despite its popularity, and you can see there are huge crowds behind me, there is a real sense of awe and reverence that comes across the crowd when the sun rises. It really is something to experience. It's certainly not your average morning wake-up call. And to complete the experience, we've got breakfast at a waterfront temple in a neighbouring village. It was a bucket list item for me to be really? at Angkor Wat. So being there for sunrise was just a bonus. And when I chose Scenic, that was one of the things. So Rick, what are you most looking forward to doing on this trip? I'm really looking forward to getting on the ship. Just sailing down the Mekong, the history. I have an uncle that went to Vietnam in the war. Right. And maybe, you know, retracing some of the places that he has been whilst doing it on the boat in luxury. I, I couldn't think of a better way to do it. In the light of day, we've got ample time to properly explore one of the most significant religious sites on the planet. Ross, as you get closer to the front of the temple, just the sheer size of it just really strikes you. But what does Angkor Wat mean to you? Of course, it's so meaningful to me, deep inside my heart, because this is where I was born. Wow. This is where my grandmother, my ancestor, born and grew up. For us, we see this place is like the golden age of our history ever. And so for Cambodians, it's a source of pride that so many people from around the world want to come here and experience it for themselves. They have to, because there is only one place in the world. It's Angkor Wat, and it's located in Cambodia. As well as its religious and spiritual importance, the temple is revered as an architectural masterpiece. So on one hand, you have the scale of the temple, which is so impressive, but then you have this really fine, detailed artwork. This artwork is uh, telling the history of the local people. And all of the detail you see here, it will go all the way around. And the more you look, the more you see the detail. It's like the picture's worth a thousand words. Yeah, more than a thousand words. So when you say it goes all around, like how far does it go? About one kilometer. One kilometer. Well, that is a long story. <laughs> when you first walk into this place, what strikes you is the obvious. It's the size and the majesty. But then the more time you spend in here, the more you walk around, you start to notice just the precision of the design, the, the symmetry of the engineering. And it's just mind-boggling to think that this was done 900 years ago before blueprints, before construction equipment. It's just pure craftsmanship. Amazing. Scenic offers its guests another unique way to experience the temples of Siem Reap. Now, I've never actually been on a hot air balloon before, but this one's tethered to the ground, which is perfect for a novice like me. So once you're at the top here, you can see the temples over there, the city over there. It's a really great way to get your bearings in a new place. And the views are spectacular too. 